Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Victoria Lowe, and another video means another color. Oh my gosh, Lipstick Gang, happy holidays. We are well into the holiday season, and I wanted to come through and slay <laughs> you guys with this beautiful pink, this Barbie glimmery glittery pink it is so beautiful but first things first i want you guys to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you get all of these lipstick videos and connect with me on instagram at very underscore velo first things first i am going in with my lipstick bullet base today is a lipstick bullet video yes you guys so i have been neglecting my lipstick bullet so I promise, I promise, I'm back with a, a whole bunch of bullet videos. <laughs> I'm going in with a teaspoon of a Very Velo Lipstick Bullet Base. Of course, I have a video showing you how to make this on your own. But if not, I can ship it to your door with love right in time for the holidays. So I'm just going in and I'm putting that inside of my beaker. Yes, just like that. And I'm going to melt this down first. I'm doing things a little different today. I'm gonna actually be using the Very Vila Beauty Liquid Concentrates. That's not different, but I'm going to be mixing the colors separately from the actual lipstick bullet mixture first in another beaker. So I'm taking my next beaker and I'm filling it up with half of a teaspoon of a Very Vila Beauty Liquid Concentrate in white. And I'm shaking it up really, really well because the contents do tend to separate. So I just wanted to shake it up and make sure that everything was mixed good. And I am going in with half of a teaspoon and I'm just going to put that right into my beaker. Now I'm going in with a teaspoon of the pink liquid concentrate. I am, you going to see me basically separating it into two half teaspoons but you know a half plus a half equals a whole so yeah <laughs> one teaspoon of the pink liquid concentrate and you can get all of these concentrates on my website at fairyvelobeauty.com i have all of them as a variety and they're also sold separately but yes i'm going in with this luxurious pink it is very very pigmented and i'm just throwing that inside of my beaker just like that Now I'm going in with a pinch of the blue liquid concentrate and I'm using my mini spoons from TKB, my mini measuring spoons and that's the name of the measure. It is called a pinch. So I'm adding a pinch of that blue to the uh, mixture because of course we don't need that much blue. I just kind of want to make that pink get a little more depth and I'm doing something different today. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am adding mica to the bullet. I'm adding a dash using my mini spoons of the TKB Glimmer Beige to our mixture. And this was one of the main reasons why I wanted to experiment and basically do the mixture in a separate beaker first so that if there were any remnants of the mica as far as in a clump, I'll be able to see it before it goes in to the actual base that is melting in our pot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my nice scraper. It's an art scraper that I got from Dollar Tree or whatever you call it. If you know the correct name for this, put it in the comment section. <laughs> and I'm just taking it. It was so convenient and I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. You can also use the Nord Pro mixer but I just wanted to make sure that I incorporated everything and kind of scraped the edges of the beaker really good. Also with that Nord Pro mixer, if you guys have been getting air bubbles when using a Nord Pro mixer, handheld mixer, this is a great um, alternative. You can mix it with your hands, you know, however you just want to mix it really really well so today you're going to be seeing me using this little tool right here well but don't get me wrong i still love my nor pro handheld mixer it's convenient too but i'm just using this one
Okay, so to give this pink the extra pop that it needs, I'm going in with a quarter of a teaspoon of the FDNC. We're at number 27, Lake Dye, AKA Pink. And I'm just mixing that in good too. I'm just mixing it with my scraper, scraping the edges and the sides of the mini beaker before I pour it in. So what you're about to witness is what I pour it in because the mixture is one temperature and the beaker the mixture in the beaker, the melted base is another temperature. The Very Velo Beauty Lipstick Bullet Base is no joke. It takes form and takes shape right away. It's like you gotta be quick with it. But that's a good thing because you don't want your lipstick just, you know, not forming or not holding up. So, you know, I, I appreciate that. So, yes. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and let this melt a little bit more because you can't do nothing with that. Don't even waste your time mixing that. Let that melt all the way down to its liquid state. Be patient. Patience is key when making lipstick. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to let that melt down. And in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and take some castor oil and just oil down my lipstick mold very well. Off camera, I gave it one last mix, but right now I'm just pouring it into that mold and just letting it ooze over the top just a little bit. We're going to scrape that off, but you know, you just want it to make sure that you have enough product so that it can get all the way down to the bottom of the mold and make a perfect bullet. <laughs> so yes. Oh, and I did add a quarter of a teaspoon of Iso Dodecane Remix because I also found that Iso Dodecane helps to hold the lipstick together as well. But I caught that off camera, you guys. But don't worry, there will be plenty other moments. Yes, so I tried to attempt to put the bullet in on the first one, put the um the lipstick case on, and I messed up. But I did it on the second try and it came out perfect. But yes, you guys. That it, there it is, a beautiful holiday pink glimmer, Barbie, glam, I don't know what you want to call it, pink delicious <laughs> lipstick for you guys. Thank you, Lipstick Gang, for watching. Happy holidays.